And I'm keeping an eye on shares of Citigroup because like other banks around the world, in fact, it is higher in the pre-market. According to the Wall Street Journal, Citi will ask the Fed for permission to buy back its stock. It's not going to be asking for, for permission to raise its dividend because remember, Vikram Pandit was pushed out after the Fed rejected his capital plan. He then, of course, scrapped plans to raise the dividend. But as we mentioned, part of this global bank stocks rally because Basel III rules were watered down. Well, one of the biggest surprises of 2013 and what's only been a week of trading, the sell-off in the bond market. Treasury prices down, yields higher. So I'm watching the 30-year bond yield. They ha it has certainly been rising the long bond uh, as we have seen stock markets rally. The relief over the fiscal cliff deal that finally came. There's a 30-year Treasury yield, 3.10. Mm. And Tom, the big debate is, are we going to see higher yields continue through the year? Is it back down to low yields? The Fed, for its part, isn't really signaling that it's changing its tune very much. Also, we showed you Yahoo shares. Let's show it again. San Francisco Bernstein cutting its rating on the stock to the equivalent of a hold, saying that they need more detailed strategy and concrete results from the core business. But also, the Alibaba IPO is uncertain. And Yahoo only sold half its stake back to the company. So it is looking for a big payday from uh, Alibaba when it does go public.